I am positive we're going to see some storms. I, I don't know if that's such a good thing. <laughs> hi, by the way, to Matt from the Weather Service. Everybody say hi because I love that guy. Yeah, he's going to be in at 7 a.m. this morning, and so he'll be issuing warnings and stuff when they come down the pike. And he's uh, watching it from home. He's watching from home because, like any weather person, you any love the weather. Yeah, that's exactly it. All right, we've got some wind out there that I am concerned about for later. That's one of my main threats for you based on the fact that we're going to see probably a strong line of storms coming through uh, and wind looks to be the main concern. Lightning, totally going to be an issue with this because there's quite a bit out across Iowa and I expect that to transition eastward. Hail is a concern, but not nearly as much as wind and then take it down to tornado potential as well. That chance is not as high either. There's just not enough spin in the atmosphere today. However, you can never totally rule that out uh, when you have severe thunderstorms in the mix. Futurecast is going to show you what happens here. It looks like most of the most intense stuff is going to roll south of us. But if you're in the extreme southwestern portions of Chicagoland, you could very easily be grazed by that very strong line. But look, it's aiming for Champaign by about 2 o'clock. We do see some development out across parts of our area, though. And if we see that line extend a little bit farther north, we could be dealing with the northern extent of that as well. So we do need to definitely pay attention to this. Look what's going on in Iowa right now. Lots of severe thunderstorm warnings here east of Des Moines, uh, down to the south and west. Cedar Rapids getting hit by quite a bit of very, very heavy rain, even a flash flood warning there. And this stuff is transitioning into our zone as we move into the next uh, several hours. So from west to east is where that concern will be. This is where you can see the blue. Can you see it, guys? I probably should have used another color. But either way, you can see the blue circle that I've drawn right here. That's potentially uh, what the Storm Prediction Center is thinking about in terms of the next watch box. So severe thunderstorm watch may go up within the next uh, couple of hours here within that area shaded in blue could include parts of our area. All right, dew points are really high out there. Lots of mugginess in the air. It's going to be sticky to oppressive for most of the day. A lot of moisture for these storms to work with. So heavy rain is a possibility within this as well. In fact, I'll take a peek at what we're looking at in terms of the um, potential for rainfall coming up in just a bit. But know that once we get through today, Derek, it's looking good.